Games feature a variety of platforms that serve different purposes. However, you can categorize them into four main types. First one is just a simple solid block floating in the air, which you cannot climb from below. The second one appears similar to the first one, but this time you can climb it from below. And don't worry, we will also gonna talk about how you can drop off from the platform. Then the third type is one-time platform, also known as self-destruct platform, which cannot hold your weight for a long time. Then finally, there are some closed moving platforms like the circular one. Then you have open path like this platform moving left and right. And basically, whatever path you want, you can move the platform in it. So without wasting any more time, let's quickly make these. So I have created a basic scene with a background. I have boundaries so that player don't go beyond the screen. Then I have a tile map which contains a single tile that I used to create this floor. And finally, I have a player which is able to move left, right and jump. Now for the solid platform, I have this image which I'm gonna use. So select your tile map, then make sure you are on the tile side. Here I will drag our platform image in it. Now in God of 4, if you hover over your image, it will show the size of the image. So here this image is 140 by 70 pixel. So in the setup tab, set the texture region 140 for X and 70 for Y. Then we are gonna switch to select tab. And if you see nothing, just click on this image one more time. And here we are interested in physics. Now if you don't see any physics option, then it means you haven't created any physics layer. So just go inside the tile set and there you will find a physics layer. Inside it, just click on this add element and it will create a physics layer. After doing that, you will able to see the physics option here. Then inside it, we have physics layer 0 and under it, we have to set up a collision shape. So just click on this green icon and start drawing a collision shape to cover the entire sprite. And that's it. You can just switch to the tile map, select your tile and start putting it in your game. You can play the game and you will see it is a solid block and you can't go through it from below. Next up, let's create a one-way platform. For that, the entire process is going to be the same. You first drag the image into the tile map. Then in the setup tab, you set the texture region. Then switch to select tab, click on your sprite and inside the physics setting, Define a collision shape that cover the entire area. Now to make this platform a one way platform, at last you will notice there is a polygon section. And inside it, you have the option to make it one way. So just enable it and you are done. Just switch to the tile map, select your platform and just start drawing. Once you are done, you can play the game and you will now be able to climb it from under it. Now one last thing we wanted is to drop the player from the platform when we press the down arrow key. For this, you need to go into the player script and inside the physics process function where you are handling the keyboard input, we first check for the down arrow key and also make sure that the player is on the ground and not on mid air. Then we simply move our player position down by 1 pixel. This is because one way collision stop the object if the entire object is above the stop line. And by moving the player down by 1 pixel, the player has gone through it and it is no longer above the line. That's why the one-way collision does not try to stop it. But it will not work on ordinary ground because this collision shape is not just limited to a line, but it covers the entire area. So moving the player down by one pixel doesn't have any effect. So that's it for this video. I will explain the self-destruct platform and moving platform in a separate video. So subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified. And as always, if you have any problem, write down in the comment section and I will try to solve it. So for now, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.